on our first ever episode of What's My Aesthetic, we'll meet longtime creative weirdo Shi Zen Wong, who recently moved from Amsterdam into a studio apartment in the middle of Los Angeles to pursue her dream career of being a professional model. Hi, Mr. Kate. Hi, Joey. Welcome into my apartment. I just moved to Los Angeles in January. I just want to feel at home when I walk into my apartment and that's not the case right now. We're gonna diagnose her perfect aesthetic which will inform our creative weirdness. Another thing is the fact that it's a studio which is obviously always a challenge because mm -hmm. we have to make it a living room and a bedroom and ultimately give her a model worthy apartment makeover that represents her personal style with a brand new online portfolio thanks to our sponsor, Wix.com. That provides creative weirdos everywhere the ability to showcase themselves online any Wix way they want. That's cool. Very that is amazing. What's so important about you having a website as a model is it's kind of like your... It's like your card. Exactly. Yeah. So put on your golden freckles and let's get to designing. Hey guys, I'm Mr. Kate and I live my life as a creative weirdo. I think people's weirdness is their own brand of uniqueness. And it's my passion in life to help people define their creativity so that they can express their truest selves to the world. You may be 60% bohemian, 30% minimalist, and 10% glam, but whatever you are, you're 100% you. So let's go on a journey together and ask the question, what's my aesthetic? Let's go meet Shazen and find out what her aesthetic is, what she likes, what she doesn't like, and see if we can make her space as cool as she is. Hi! <laughs> oh, you have friends here? Hi! Oh, your mom, oh my gosh! Do you look like your sister? Hello, nice to meet you guys. Hi, I'm Joey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is your studio. So tell us about your aesthetic. I think my style is very bohemian, glamorous chic. Oh. Yeah. So a mix of bohemian, which is like a little more earthy. Yeah. And and gold and plants, like green. Uh -huh. My favorite color is blue. So your favorite color is blue? Yeah. Blue, you don't see a lot of blue in bohemian design. It's usually more like neutrals yeah. and earth tones. Yeah. So the glam is like, more shiny finishes, yeah, like mirrors, gold. gold. Okay. All right, so I'm walking around Shizen's apartment and just kind of analyzing the elements that she's decided to place around. It's a great way for me to kind of see the world through her eyeballs. So you got two clocks. Yeah, I wanted to hang them up and put like, Amsterdam uh, above one of them. <gasps> yeah. I love that idea. Those are beautiful too, and that's that kind of bohemian glam thing, right? Is that a closet? Yeah, so that door is really cool because it opens up like this. But you can't use it. Oh, you have another access point. So that's why you covered it. So you're in LA because you're a model, right? So part of this new series is we're working with Wix. Because I think part of what we're gonna do with this makeover is also make over your website. We wanna do like a photo shoot with you and stuff. Awesome. Are you down for that? So are you down? So it's basically like you're gonna be able to like jump off with your room done and then your professional presence done as well. Cause like that's what you put out in the world, right? Yeah, a life makeover. All right, one, two, three, aesthetic. Okay guys, so let's diagnose Shizen's aesthetic. We know off the bat that she loves pale blue. She voiced that, she's like my favorite color is pale blue. She also likes the accent colors of pale pink and gold. So already off the bat, like I'm getting glam vibes. But I also had another clue while we were there. Remember those brass candlesticks? The fact that she went to the thrift store, that she's open to that brass patina. I'm getting the clue that she is somewhat vintage eclectic. All right, so based off all those things, my diagnosis of Shizen's aesthetic is 60% glam, 30% bohemian, and 10% vintage eclectic. Hey guys. Hello. So Joey's here. We've got a Joey. What's yeah. the plan? Okay, so here's the plan. So this is the mood board. This is all the vibe of everything. We've got the Love pale it. blue yeah. on the walls. This is the stuff I've already ordered, a mix of glam and bohemian. We've got like- Oh, we ordered her a new couch? Ordered her a new couch. You know, cause she has that dark gray couch. Another thing is the fact that it's a studio, which is obviously always a challenge because mm -hmm. we have to make it a living room and a bedroom. She's got a big queen size bed. We're using the bed. We're using the mattress and the 
the bed frame that she has, but I ordered this headboard. Okay. The things that we have going for us in the room are the high ceilings, the hardwood floors, the natural light. Right. So we're doing a bunch of pale blue in that room with accents of the gold. So I got these gold throw pillows. There's some gold here. I'll do gold in this DIY mirror I'm gonna make. And then also some pale pink, so some of the faux flowers. I also want to use those pale pink shelves from the office with the rope that we already DIY'd. Okay. We DIY those in the past video. You guys can go check it out, and we're gonna use those in her space. And she gets to keep them. Great. So this is all the stuff I've ordered. Love it. Now let's look at the floor plan. Okay, so when you first walk into her room right now, her bed's like right there. I know, which is not ideal. Yeah. There's not necessarily a totally ideal place to put the bed just because in this new setup, it's off her kitchen, but I still right. think it's a cozier spot than right by her front door. Right. And also, it'll just kind of like bring you in. She, you can enter into her living room. She can have friends over and they can sit in this little conversation area that we're right. gonna set up. And we're also no longer blocking that closet door. Great. My plan is to put a canvas on top of the closet door and make it kind of like an inspiration board area. Cool. Yeah, because blocks. she has another closet door. She doesn't need that closet door. Okay, so we're also paying for everything. We are, we're treating her to this makeover. We're treating her. We're putting her... her into a hotel. Yes, that's the plan guys. Hope you like it. Let's see if we can actually make this happen. She's in, I'm so glad we're doing this together. Me too. You're an OG creative weirdo. Yes, I am. Thank you so much for watching the videos for so long. Now we're here in the flash, which I've diagnosed you yeah. as being 60% yeah. glam. Yes. 30% bohemian. Yes. And then 10% vintage eclectic. Yes. So does that sound like the correct diagnosis? Yeah. Yeah? It's, yeah? It's you think perfect. that feels okay, yeah. okay, okay. So how cool will it be when your website is exactly like that? Is it is exactly like your room too? What's so important about you having a website as a model is it's kind of like your it's like your card. Exactly. Yeah. Your portfolio. Yes. And obviously it'll be super easy for you to update whenever you want, change out the pictures. All right, so let's get into styling. So I love, let me, I mean, of course you have to love it, but what do you think about this dress? I like it. Yeah? yeah so yeah, and I like the color. Right? Yeah. It's such a beautiful, that kind of like pale blue color that you love. So that's one option. I also love this. Oh, that's really nice. Right? Very vintage. Yeah, super cute. I have like this little like mini dress. Oh, I really like this one. Let's get you in this one first. All right, so Shazan's gonna change and we're gonna start taking pictures. <gasps> oh my gosh, you look so good. Do you love it? Yes. Oh my God, you're so cute. Glam, yes! Gosh, look at you. So powerful. I love these. Are you I'm happy? I'm so happy. Okay, Thank good. you so much. Oh my gosh, of course. Cool. And now you get to go off and spend a night in a hotel. What? I'm gonna work on this. <gasps> okay, awesome. But I think these are so pretty. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to edit these. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about those pictures. So I have all the DIY supplies here and I'm gonna go over all the projects with you so that you guys are in the know. But first I think we should definitely FaceTime Joey and see how he's doing over in the apartment because he's painting and working hard, setting up the furniture. At least he better be. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Uh, it's going good. Paint's on, lights on. Uh, you got all the walls painted? Yeah, they look good here. Ooh. Come Did on. you get the chandelier up? Yes, the chandelier is up. So, oh my gosh, the glam is happening. We're doing great. I love you. Love you too. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay, All right, so Joey's working hard now. I'm about to work hard on some DIY projects. So we need to make sure that we are bringing in glam, bohemian, 
and a little bit of vintage eclectic. So the idea is take this simple mirror and then use these pieces of millwork, which are more ornate moldings. I ordered all of these online. Paint them gold. So I'm gonna attach these with some E6000. It's clear, it'll dry clear, and it's also really strong. I'm also going to take this rug, and my thought with this is to use it on the wall above her bed, bring in this beautiful medallion shape, but also using some faux flowers. I got these faux peonies. This is one of our accent colors along with the gold. Probably hot glue them on, maybe use a little bit of wire to attach these through the gaps in the crochet. And then I also have this canvas over here, and the idea with this is to create an inspiration board for her. So paint this large canvas a single shade of this beautiful, where's my peachy pink? Here it is. So this beautiful peachy pink color is of course our accent color. And this will become an inspiration board. We will hang on that closet door that is, you know, out of use and she can pin tears of magazines, you know, all kinds of whatever other inspiration ideas. I think it'll be really cool and useful for her. That's the plan. I have so much to do. I'm gonna make these and then load them up in the car and head over to Joey. Okay, are you ready to see these photos? I wanna see them. Okay, guys, I'm so proud of these photos. She's an obviously gorgeous model, made it really easy but I'm also very proud of the editing and just the color palette and everything. It's gonna match her room, her aesthetic. <laughs> I know, let <laughs> me start with a funny one. It's got her whole aesthetic in here. We've got the 60% glam, right? Like look how glam these are. Mm -hmm. But then the styling is like a little more bohemian, 30% oh, yeah, bohemian, bo right? So pretty. And I also rolled on some video of her while we were against the white. Oh, nice. You know, so Oh, like, that could be cool to use. Like, I like when websites like start with video. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's start. Let's start okay, I'm so website. excited. All right, so what do we do? Okay, guys, websites used to be hard to make. Wix now makes it so easy. So yeah. we just pick a template, right? Yeah. So, we have so there's blend. a bunch of different templates, which is great. So you guys can pick a template that matches your aesthetic. Right, we're going for something kind of like clean and glam with her. All right, so I think it'd be cool to start out with video. Yeah, for sure. So. Oh wait, wait, I like that template. If we just want to make this first section video, you just go to that change page background and video. Oh yeah, there's a video option. And then upload that guy. Yeah, that guy. So basically, this will be great too because any new editorial, whatever. Mm -hmm. She can just add in the new photos. Yep. Okay, so this template already came with three links because it's a portfolio template. Because basically, you can choose from a bunch of different types of. Perfect, though. Portfolio is perfect for her, yeah. If you're a dentist, you can pick a dentist template. Are you a dentist? You want me to floss your teeth? You I can brush your I could do that. No, I floss my teeth twice a day. Now, after you got a bad review from the hygienist. That's not true. Let's preview this. <gasps> That's cool. Very that is amazing. Yeah. It's just cool. It's gorgeous. So what do we put here? We can put like maybe photos. Yeah, I think I think let's put in her portfolio photos. Yeah. Back. So we want like, like a slider probably. <gasps> yes, a slider. I love a slider. <laughs> so I think we just go add a gallery. Look at all the options for galleries they have. Okay, love it. You just add it. You drag it to where you want it. This is very easy, guys. And then we can change Drag how it they down. fit. Yeah. Oh, uh, perfect. Look at that. Oh my yeah. god, how cute Design. is the slider? So then I think we can just do her like about section. And we can just click on the text and type it right here. So like, hi, I'm Shazen, and I'm from Amsterdam. Amsterdam. I'm a poet, and I know it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. She can edit that. Thank uh, God she can edit this. And then, like, maybe we put like a picture of her or something to go with the about section. A picture of Amsterdam. Oh, that's cool. Do you have any from our trip? All right, I'm gonna airdrop it to you. So, oh! oh, that's the color palette. The pale blue, the peachy pink. I mean, whoa! What the heck, dude? We just made a website. All right, wait a minute. Let's website. give it a test drive. Ready? Oh. Oh, oh, she smiled. She's so inviting. I want more. Oh, ah. look at that portfolio. Oh. And then you can also then go click these links and they just take you to the section. 
Okay. All right. Let's go look at the room. Website done. I want to see the projects you made. Though. Yes. Okay. And oh my gosh, the mirror turned out so cool. Charlie, I have to show you. Wait. Um, <laughs> this is a high stool. Small on a stool. Small on a tall stool. Takes a while. I'm also stuck to the seat. Oh, dang. I know. That turned out so cool, Kate. Thank you. All I did was I painted it gold and then I painted all these separate pieces. I planned the layout first and then I just glued them on with E6000 so that they're strong. And I ended up deciding to do some of the pieces on the actual mirror to just like have more of that ornate look since the frame was really skinny. Okay, so let's talk about the big items in here. All right, so this is our conversation area. Conversation area, so we've got our beautiful glam couch. Obviously, since we're doing 60% glam, the majority of the large items are glam. Glam mirror, glam slipper chairs we're bringing in. Then we also have that 30% bohemian, so we've got a little bit of jute in the rug, right? It's still the pale blue, but there's some of that natural texture. The light looks great. Oh my gosh, you did so much in here. The walls look great, the chandelier looks great. That's so much better. All right, so let's finish thing. bringing in the big items. So we got the chairs to finish this conversation area, right? Yep. These slipper chairs are great for studio apartment dwellers because they don't have the arms, they're easy to move around. Yeah. You know, you can easily access them from all sides. I think we're getting our split in here really well. Great. Right? Yeah, let's work on the bed. Okay. So what, what, what is this? This is oh, like Oh good, a, it's uh, laying flat. A welcome mat or something? No, 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 it's just a little 36 inch rug, but I thought it was such a cool shape for the wall. So all I did was hot glue on those flowers creating just kind of like a bohemian moment. But like see the jute with then the wicker headboard? It, that's like definitely 30% bohemian. But the shape of the headboard is very classically glam. <gasps> yeah, no. Joey, uh -huh. let's take a moment guys, acknowledge the beautiful. <laughs> okay, he's also acknowledging himself. The beautiful curtain hanging, perfectly puddled in a glam puddle. I mean, this is great. I don't, I can retire. <laughs> can I retire? No, you're gonna be, you're gonna continue. I'm just gonna FaceTime you. I think those shelves turned out really cool. No, they turned out so well. This is a very much a bohemian moment, right guys? Because obviously, the rope is a more natural element. It's a little more free. So we've got the 30% bohemian and then the accent of pink, which is one of our accent colors. How did you, you hung these with well, the- Well, the joists in the ceiling go the wrong way for me to hang it from studs. Oh. So I just like decoratively hung them from the ceiling, but really I put them on shelf brackets. Oh, so well, that that's they a good tip. Away. Yeah. So if you guys want that kind of bohemian look with the rope shelves, but you're worried about your ceiling, you could just use really light hooks, but then actually secure them with some L brackets. All right, so this is another big piece here. The bench is a great thing in a studio apartment too, because it just like grounds the bed, but also gives her another seating option in here. Mm -hmm. All the big stuff looks great, Joey. High five. High five. Whoa, you just stuck that inside your shoe and then high five me? <laughs> no. All right, so final touches? Yes. All right. Okay guys, so I have all of my aesthetic touches here around me now. These are the final touches that make the room really have that personality and the voice. Obviously we have all the bigger items really establishing our glam and our bohemian and a little bit of vintage eclectic. So throw pillows obviously, you guys know I love throw pillows. I have velvet here. So when you're doing a glam room, you want some really beautiful textures and velvet is one of those metallics that is just very luxurious and glam looking. So I've got these gold velvet ones, this blue velvet one that's bringing in a different shade of our pale blue. It's kind of more of a crushed velvet. And then she also loves the furry kind of texture. So I've got this furry little kind of half throw, thinking maybe this could go over the back of the couch. And then I've got some cool things over here. Look at this pineapple lamp, you guys. Oh my gosh. This is kind of like all of our styles combined. We have the touch of gold, the accent color, which is glam. We've got the pineapple shape, which is totally vintage eclectic, very much like a vintage reference. And then we've got this beautiful 
pedestal gold little side table. And then, <laughs> I'm so excited about this board here. So the whole idea with this obviously is justifying this door, she doesn't use it, but using it more as a frame for this canvas that can become her inspiration board. So we're bringing in our accent color, our like pale pink, and then I printed out some more of those gorgeous photos of her. Hello, hello, like stunning. And you know, I mean, she doesn't always have to have photos of herself on the inspiration board, but she is a model. So imagine she'll be able to pull magazine tears, print out pictures of photo shoots that she likes, that she wants to do more of, and really brainstorm for her future photo shoots she can do with friends, photographer friends, and also video shoots and stuff. So just having a visual board is a really nice thing. And it can also look really cool. And then I've also got all of my pens and my drawing paper. I think I might do maybe some quotes, maybe some little sketches of like a dress or something like that. You know, bringing in the glam. <laughs> these shells more. Yeah, go level out a little bit. So we have our beautiful bedding here. And obviously I really am taking liberties with the color blue. So the bedding is gorgeous. I think having a monochromatic feel throughout the space really unifies it. And let me just point out that we have this little side table here. Like, we really do not have a ton of room, obviously, because this is a studio, but just having something like a side table next to your bed just makes it feel more established, like a bedroom area. It's got our accent colors of the pale pink and the gold. I just need a lamp. Woo! This lamp is great. I like that we have this shape. It's a little bit different than the pineapple lamp with the shade. I always like changing up the lamps. If you have multiple lamps in a space and they're in different areas, have one with a shade, maybe one with a globe. And then I love also playing with some different shapes of pillows. This is a super glam looking pillow, right? It's also kind of vintage eclectic because it's like that old school look. It's both in a pillow. So we also have this nice dust ruffle here, and this is really helping create a glam look, but we didn't have to spend money on a new bed. She already had that bed frame, but you remember it was black. So this is great. This is a really easy and inexpensive way to update the style of your bed. Uh, bedding looks good. Yeah. Greenery. I think we need to steam it a little bit. Oh, perfect. It's like right here, yeah? Yeah, I think by the window it'll be happy. You know, I like a plant moment. New shoes, yeah? Huh? Well, I've seen them. <laughs> New shoes, eh? <laughs> Thank you. Are we done? No, what? Look at this bear shell. Oh, shells, great. Jeez, a little wheezy. All right, guys, so. In a studio apartment, having a shelf is really nice. Obviously, we're using the vertical space here of the wall. This will just give her an area to collect some items as she lives here in LA. She's a new transplant. So, you know, she only has these, what, candelabras to begin with, but she got it in one of our favorite thrift stores. But I've also brought in some other cute things. I found these shoes in her closet. In a studio apartment also, Having things like shelves function for other items, like clothing items, if you're able to display them in a cool way where it looks 
chic and part of the space. It also is space saving and helpful if you don't have as big of a closet as she has, which she does have a great size closet in here, but let's see how these look. Joey, Joey, come in here. What do you think? Ah, uh, it looks so good. Right? You know, I just realized how much we kind of match the room. I mean, it's always so convenient, <laughs> isn't it? Should we bring her in? Um, yes. I think we're ready. I feel like it's so kind of European vibes in here, too. What yeah. do you think? Definitely feels like we like are Parisian, at Like Parisian, maybe we'll just call I it Amsterdam. I think it's like Amsterdam, yeah. It's like if you're like staying at a cute bed and breakfast on the Amsterdam canals. I wanna go. Let's go back to Amsterdam. Maybe we just ask her if we can crash here sometimes. We could just send her back to the hotel. <laughs> we'll just take her. <laughs> Surprise, here's your new place. We're taking right, it. Let's go get her. Let's bring her in. Okay, awesome. No peeking, no peeking. Come on in. Oh my gosh, I can feel you're like shaking. You're so nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> my heart's gonna explode. All right, count of three. Count One, of three. Two, three. three. favorite color with the beautiful muted blue, the pale blue is yeah. now kind of enveloping you. Almost like Parisian vibe in here. And we've got the glam, we've got the glam of the velvet, the furry tone. It's, so it's a little bit more pulled together yeah. than, Thank you. than what it was Thank before. So I right? love it so much. A little bit? <laughs> a lot of it, a lot. It's so good. This is so good. We DIY this mirror, a beautiful glam so mirror good. for you. The shelter I can't DIY. This is my <laughs> So this is your mood board and the idea is, you know, when you're brainstorming your photo shoots or your videos or whatever, your creative weirdness, you can do it here. And then we did what you wanted to do, right? Oh my God! I can't, I have to take it in. Yeah, take it in! <laughs> this is crazy! Some nice, this is crazy. luxurious curtains, oh floor to ceiling God. curtains. I can't believe it. Obviously, your bedding has upgraded a little yes. bit. Yes. Yeah, a bench, bench there. Oh uh, new chandelier. <laughs> Do you love that? That's the glam right I'm there. Shocked. That's a DIY too, so that's a bit of the bohemian, right? Also, we gotta show you your pictures and your new website. <gasps> yeah. Let's sit down I can't and wait look to at see it. it. Okay. okay. Ooh. <laughs> you can scroll so around. So you have your portfolio here. So like when you're booking gigs, you can send it about, oh. That was a picture that we took in Amsterdam. I mean, you can edit that. You can edit it. <laughs> so sweet. Thank you. You got a room, you got you a website. Like, I'm fresh. Here we come Los Angeles. <laughs> you Angelus. are fresh, yes. She's Zen Wong, I'm ready fresh. ready to the world now. Yeah. Thank you so much. No, thanks for, you're welcome. Thanks for being a creative weirdo. Yeah, you were a pleasure. This was meant to be. I'm so glad we got to work with you. And I hope that this is your aesthetic. Is this your aesthetic? Yes. This is my aesthetic. Yeah! Success! Aesthetic success. All right. Oh, give me we'll a say hug. Bye. It was so great. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so happy.
good, be your good luck with your career. And, I know. Uh, I'll see you on Instagram around town. Yes. I can't wait to see those pictures. Post those oh, pictures, post right? Lot. Yes. Post a lot. <laughs> All right. Okay, Enjoy bye, Shizai. Bye. <laughs> She loves it, I'm so glad. What did you guys think? That is our new series, What's My Aesthetic? I think it's really fun. I think we totally accomplished her aesthetic, right? We accomplished something, that was epic. Yeah, it was a great blend. New room, new website, guys. Huge thanks to Wix. Check out Wix.com if you need to build a website. It was They're so easy. They're making this series possible, so big shout out to them. Yeah. And oh. thumbs up if you liked it. Yeah, and if you guys want to see our aesthetic, follow us on our social media, on our Instagram, our Twitter, our Snapchat. Also guys, if you want to find out what your unique aesthetic is, go take our What's My Aesthetic quiz over on MrKate.com. And post it in the comments. Yeah, and what is uh, it? What unique blend are what's you? What's My Aesthetic? You have to take the quiz. Okay. Okay. I'll let you know. Good job. Big good job, okay. good job. We'll see you on the next one, bye! bye Can I get some credit? I know, guys. Did you ever know that I was that good at cursive? I knew you were really good at printing a stencil. Nope, that was freehand. Mm, okay, we had a text talking about what font you're gonna use. Nope, freehanded it. <laughs> he tried to trick you guys with All the right. stencil.